Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we'll give you a guide on using fonts in Inkscape. So let's get to it. In this video, we'll be talking about the standard text and fonts in Inkscape. We're not talking about the lettering tool that we've covered in a previous video. This is more so about the uh, text and fonts that you can use in the Inkscape design process and how to kind of manipulate them to get them to look the way you want them to. So should we jump to the computer? Let's do it. First, right, so to get to your text and font settings, um, you can click on this T right here. Uh, we have ours open already, that's why it's right here, but you can also uh, go to text and text and font, and that'll open it up. And you can see ours is open right here. And what this will do is open up some menu items that you can change on your text. One thing we'll point out is if you download fonts and install them onto your computer, as long as you're in, they're in your computer directory, font directory, they will automatically appear here in, uh, in Inkscape. So we have one right here that we've downloaded and used. Um, so anyway, to add uh, text to your document, you just click on the A here. Or you can um, just press the keyboard shortcut T. Oh yeah, you can just hit T and it will add. So we'll go ahead and just add text, right? So one thing again we'll point out is this is uh, still editable text and it is not embroiderable as it is. So uh, just to kind of show you, uh, we can still edit this text and change it to whatever we want. But if we were to try to embroider it, we'll get an error. Uh, and that's because it's not a path yet. So, yep. so to convert it to a path, um, you have to have it selected. Once you're comfortable with the letters of the text and how they look, uh, you'll just go to path and object to path. And now it's turned into an editable, you know, squishable text that can be embroidered if you'd like. And this should work now. Okay. So again, now that is a path versus a text, these are really just shapes. So you see we have uh, nodes at each point. We can adjust the shape of these if we want, right? It's just a shape of a letter versus an actual editable letter. You can also um, change the color now, whatever you want, and you can add a stroke. Yeah, so if we just select on that, we can change the color, and then we can add a stroke by just hitting shift and you know, selecting our stroke color. And again, now you got a two-tone text pretty, pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And again, this is still something that you can adjust like that, no big deal. You just can't change the text the text itself, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you can't make it say Project Anonymous, <laughs> as it is. So the next thing is, um, well, what if we wanted this to lay out a little bit differently? Well, it's all a single, or at least it appears to be a single selectable object. So we can't move the E closer to the T if we mm -hmm. wanted to. Well, we can. We can do that by going to uh, is it object and then ungroup. And now it's ungrouped. Now we can kind of move things to where we want. So again, oh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off our snapping tool. Um, but we can put this wherever we want now. Again, we can. Uh, th this is all about being customizable, right? And the mm -hmm. whole point of Inkscape is that we can customize anything that we want. I mean, we can even twist letters around sideways if we wanted to, to get real goofy, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's what it's about. It's all about making custom things. So this is kind of how we do it. You can even make them overlap a little bit. Yeah. It's neat. And then once you're comfortable with it, if you like it just the way it is, you can regroup it by going to object and group. And now you don't have to worry about accidentally, accidentally selecting one of those uh, characters mm -hmm. and messing up your custom design. So kind of neat, right? Mm -hmm. So the next thing we're going to go over is um, how to curve your text. 
Yeah, so this is a pretty cool feature. Um, all you really need to do is create a line that your text can follow. So a lot of the times you're you're doing this, you're trying to put it text along the circle of a path, right? This is useful for logos or patches. Yeah, so if you're making a little patch design where you want text kind of wrapped around inside here or down here, um, it's pretty easy. So you just make the outline of the curve that you want. And then um, click on text and Okay, so like this, this is kind of useless, um, at least with here, but what we can do is while it's still in an editable text mode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on text and put on path. So in order to do that, we have to select both. So we're gonna, we're gonna before we do that, we're gonna click on our selector tool, make sure our text is selected, and then we'll select our path. There you go. So now that both are selected, we're gonna hit text, put on path. And you can see that now wraps the text around and we can move where this is. We're, we need to just select the text and then we can move the text around, right? So now, that it's curved along that path, you can see, you can just kind of put it right in there and it will match perfectly the curve of it. You know, if this is your patch design, you can see that is kind of neat how it fits in there. Mm -hmm. So let's say you didn't want to make a patch and you're just making this um, for a design. Mm -hmm. If you were to delete the circle, um, would the curve delete too or would it stay? It would, it would delete and this would go back in this, to being straight. So if I click on this circle and I hit delete, there's no more curve for this to follow. So there's one thing you have to do before you delete that path. I mean, if I hit uh, command Z to undo that. Once you have the text right, if you clicked on object path, now it's an individual path that you can use in some other design and you can get rid of this um, circle and it will stay just like that. Pretty neat. Yep. Now this doesn't just work with circles, which is kind of neat. You can make any path that you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this real quick. So again, you can do this with any shape that you want. Uh, so if you have a custom shape that you want your text to go along, again, just make sure you select both of the items, the curve that you want it to go on and the text, but while it's still in editable text mode, and then text, put on path. And now you can see how it kind of lines up on this text. And you can see how it kind of curved to that shape. Right, kind of a unique looking That's text, really right? Cool. Yeah. And if you know you weren't happy with the kerneling of this of these letters, um, again all you have to do now um, is object to path, put making it a path, and then ungrouping. Shift command G to ungroup. And then select the letters that you're not happy with the kerneling. Right, if you want it a little bit closer together, you can do that. See? So, pretty neat. Um, I think all of these are really useful things, so if um, you really want to customize something and make it your own, you can, and... Yeah, again, that's what it's all about, is, you know, using the tool in order to get exactly what you want out of it. The added bonus of Inkscape is Ink Stitch, and you can use that design and stitch it out or a customizable patch or whatever it is you're making. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.